Here's problem 917. A 6 kilogram object moving 2 meters per second in the positive x direction has a one dimensional elastic collision with a 4 kilogram object moving 3 meters per second in the opposite direction. What is the total kinetic energy of the two mass system after the collision? Well, the key word here is elastic. So we're going to have conservation of momentum and conservation of kinetic energy. And we have formulas for just, just elastic collisions. We can get the final velocities and then we can calculate the final kinetic energy. So we know that, um, well let's, let's imagine what's going on here first. We've got uh, mass 1, which is 6 kilograms, moving at 2 meters per second. So that's V1 initial. About to collide with mass 2, which is 4 kilograms. And it's moving at 3 meters per second in the opposite direction. So our V2 initial is a negative 3 meters per second. Um, negative means it's moving in the opposite direction, in the negative x direction in this case. So that's our initial velocities, and that's, that's what's going to happen initially. Afterwards, they're going to collide elastically, don't lose any energy, and most likely, mass 1 will be moving in the negative x direction with some v1 final, and mass 2 will be moving in the positive x direction with some v2 final and this is the way things will look like in the final analysis alright our formulas for only elastic collisions which are not that common for only elastic collisions are that um, v1 final is equal to mass 1 minus mass 2 over mass 1 plus mass 2 v1 initial plus 2 mass 2 over mass 1 plus mass 2 v2 initial and v2 final will be equal to 2 mass 1 over mass 1 plus mass 2 V1 initial plus mass 2 minus mass 1 over mass 1 plus mass 2 V2 initial. So based on these, ex these uh, equations, if we know the masses and the initial velocities, we can get the final velocities from these equations. So let's try it out. For V1 final, I'm going to have mass 1, which is 6, minus mass 2, which is 4, over mass 1 plus mass 2, times V1 initial, which is 2 meters per second, plus 2 times mass 2, which is 4, over mass 1 plus mass 2, 6 plus 4, V2 initial, which is a negative 3. So we have 2 times 2 over 10 plus 8 times a negative 3 and negative 24 over 10. <clears throat> that would be 4 plus a negative 24, which would be a negative 20 over 10, <clears throat> or a negative 2 meters per second. So the final velocity of mass 1 is a negative 2 meters per second. Let's take a look at the final velocity of mass 2. V2 final is 2 mass 1 over mass 1 plus mass 2. V1 initial plus mass 2 minus mass 1, mass 1 plus mass 2. V2 initial. So this would be 2 times 6 over 6 plus 4 times 2 for V1 initial, plus 4 minus 6 
over 6 plus 4 times a negative 3 for V2 initial. So we're going to have 24 over 10 plus, this would be a negative 2 times a negative 3, which would be 6 over 10, which would be 30 over 10, or 3 meters per second. So the final velocity of mass 2 is 3 meters per second. We can now calculate the final kinetic energy of the system. The final kinetic energy would be equal to 1 half mass 1, V1 final squared, plus 1 half mass 2, V2 final squared. So this would be 1 half times 6 times a negative 2 squared, plus 1 half times 4 times 3 squared. This would be 3 times 4, or 12, plus 2 times 9, 18. So we have 30 joules is our final kinetic energy. So that would be our answer to this problem. Here's an interesting thought. Since it is an elastic collision by that definition kinetic energy should be conserved. So the initial kinetic energy should equal the final kinetic energy. And if we were asked for, for what the final kinetic energy was, what we could do is just figure out the initial kinetic energy because it's conserved. It should be the same. So in this problem we could have gone directly to the initial kinetic energy. One half mass one V one initial squared plus one half mass two V2 initial squared, and if we figured that out, that would have been 1 half times 6. V1 initial was 2 squared plus 1 half times 4. V2 initial was a negative 3 squared, and by golly, we would have gotten 12 plus 18, 30 joules. And then we would have just said that K final was equal to K initial was equal to 30 joules. That would have been a lot easier if we had realized that uh, in elastic collision kinetic energy is conserved. That may not always be, the, be um, uh, uh, an available option so we still want to keep our equations handy so that we can use those. So that's the answer to this problem, 30 joules. Uh, 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 uh.